Hello and welcome to this microeconomics video on rational decision making. In this video we're going to be looking at the underlying assumptions of rational economic decision making. So this is an area of behavioural economics and consumers aim to maximise utility in order to get as much satisfaction as possible. And what we mean when we say consumers utility is the total satisfaction received from consuming a good or service. So the, uh, the consumer might use common sense or intuition. They might consider how it's cheaper to buy goods on sale. They might have a pre-decided criteria or a rule of thumb and only buy the good if it's on sale. And this can lead to irrational decisions being made. For example, if you walked into Topshop or River Island or Topman and they had a really good sale. So despite you not intending to go in there to buy anything, you just can't resist this amazing sale. You end up coming out with two tops, a jacket and a new coat, all because it was just really cheap and you couldn't overcome this irrational decision make making. And obviously firms aim to maximise profits. They just want to make a lot of money. So a firm or an individual can make decisions using intuition or rationality. Intuition uses the feelings or instincts of the consumer and does not use facts. So intuition does not use facts. Businesses use this when they do not have access to the facts or when making the, when making the decision is difficult. A rational decision is making is made using several steps and it involves analysis and facts. So the difference basically between intuition and rationality and rationally is intuitions when you've got no facts and rationally is when you've got facts and you've kind of got a step-by-step -step process. Thanks for listening. Check out my YouTube channel at Bite Size Economics for more videos.